Here's a brief tutorial on how to use the web-based program Kahoot to create reviews or game-based quizzes for your classroom. The first thing you want to do is open a web browser. Once your web browser is open, navigate to getkahoot.com. Once you're there, if you have not already started an account, you can click on Get My Free Account. If you already have an account, you can click on Sign In. Once you're signed in, you have an option to create a quiz, create a discussion, or create a survey. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to create a quiz. You start by giving the quiz a name. Once your quiz is named, you can click Go. This will automatically take you to the question screen. You can enter in your question. Once your question is entered, you can either choose to enter in an image or enter in a video. The video is in experimental mode, and I have not had a lot of success with it, but certainly feel free to give it a shot. To insert an image, you can just choose a file from your computer. Once your image is loaded, you can also put in your answer choices. Once your answer choices are in, you choose the one that is the correct answer by clicking on the box below. This is all you have to do to enter in one question. Notice here you can either choose to assign points to a question or choose to not assign points to a question. So it, it, perhaps you want to give your students a few practice questions before you begin. You could always do a couple with no points assigned. You can also change the time limit depending on your classroom. To add another question, you can click here. To copy the same question, you can do that, and you can also delete a question. Once you have all of your questions entered that you would like to for your quiz, click Save and Continue. This will take you to the finishing touches of your quiz. You can choose the language, and you can also choose whether or not you make your privacy settings public, which allows other people to use your quiz and search for it, or private, which means that you will be the only one using your quiz. If you choose to make it public, you can create um, more information by putting in the audience, the description, and tags to allow people to better find your quiz. Once you have this set up how you want it to be, you can click Save and Continue. Um, here it allows you to give your quiz a cover image. Um, if you choose to not give your quiz a cover image, the default Kahoot cover image will go in. You can also choose, again, to put in a YouTube video, and again, this is experimental, and I'm not sure how successful you will be at this point. Once you're done with that, you can click Done. This is all you have to do to get your Kahoot set up. Um, here, you can either play it, preview it, or edit it. When you're going back to your class, you can always find the quizzes that you have made in the My Kahoots tab right here. For, you can click Play and it will begin launching your game. Here you can choose to, uh, some different customization options such as whether you want to display the game pin throughout the whole game, um, whether you want to do instructions and so forth. You can also click on advanced options for a few more different things that you can do. Once you have it set up the way you want to, you can click launch. At this point you'll want to make sure that your computer screen is connected to an overhead projector or a classroom TV so the students can see. In order for the student to connect, they can get out any device. It doesn't matter. It can be a smartphone, it can be a tablet, anything with an internet connection. It can be a computer, anything. So they go to this web address here, kahoot.it, and then they enter in their game pin. I have my um, smart device ready, so I am actually going to join the game so you can see what it will look like when students join. Um, it will make the students choose a nickname to display on the screen. And there you can see I appeared. Once you see that all the students are in, you can click Start the Game. It will now load your entire quiz. It may take a few minutes depending on the length of your quiz and the number of images you used. So once it loads your question, the students will be able to answer it. They all have 30 seconds. 
So the timer will either end at 30 seconds or once all the students have answered the questions. The students get more points for how quickly they answer and for getting the correct answer. I will answer now on my device. Since there was only one participant, it automatically closes out the question. And here it will show you how many people guessed each answer. Um, to go to the next question, you can click Next. In this case, there's only one, so I'm going to actually end the quiz by clicking Next. And you'll see that it has a leaderboard and how many points the people have. And it will only show the top competitors, so the students who are maybe on the bottom will not feel bad. Um, once your game is over, you can click Feedback and Results. The students actually get an opportunity to rate it. Um, so they can choose how fun it was, if they learned things, and if they recommend it. So I will rate it on my device. And then once it's rated, you can go to Final Results. And as a teacher, one nice thing is that you can actually download the results. So you can download um, into an Excel spreadsheet who guessed what and who got what right and wrong so you can tell which students are struggling. So here you can see my student name, Stephanie, how many answers I got correct, how many I got wrong. And um, if I had more questions, it would actually list all the questions and tell you what I answered. So this allows you to tell which students maybe need some extra help. So this was a brief tutorial on how to use Kahoot, but feel free to contact me if you would like an in-person demonstration. Thank you so much.